We are back with a brand new product. This is the Nysetic web camera stand. Uh, you could also use it as a light stand, but let's open this up, show you what's inside, and then show you how it looks. So right off the bat, you have what appears to be a little Velcro strap, specifically for like maybe cable management. Got a little clip there. Another piece there. A bolt. Seems to have gotten all those pieces out. And now we have this wand. It looks like this is the bottom part, which is the actual stand. Now there's nothing else in the box. There is a very easy one page guide for how to set it up. So first case, this is the actual stand. You can actually install a piece and we'll cover that in a second. Here tightens, and then that's going to basically keep that from going in. And then you loosen it, and then it will collapse back down. That's nice. It says that this screw here goes in here through that little hole a very specific way. When you have it in, it won't be able to turn itself. And then you're going to take this stand here, and you're going to just screw that into it. Until that is super secure as it is. And then in here you have what can be going on top is a little, um, little camera stand on here. So you can actually put a camera here, the phone camera. Push button will release that. It ratchets down to your phone. Which is cool. And then also, it can actually be set up on there. And that'll allow you to basically use it like this. I don't know specifically what reason you'd want it for that, but that's pretty nice. Actually, I can think of a reason you'd want to use it like that. I'll, I'll show you that. You're know, like this. All right. So this here is your traditional kind of ball joint setup. You know, widget you loosen. I'm gonna screw this on here. And you want to Put this here on top of that. And now you can angle that as you see fit. And then once you've got the angle right, you can then tighten that up so it won't go anywhere. That's cool. That's really cool. So if you want to get more angled shots, unfortunately, it didn't look like I could angle this down. Pretty much this side. I guess if you want to do your um, your your width kind of facing you that way, that also would work too. That's an interesting way, as opposed to this way, which is going to be your traditional types of frames. We'll cover that in a second. And then the other thing I want to talk about is um, this has actually got a shoe on it. So if you have like a, a hot shoe or a cold shoe. You wouldn't be able to use a hot shoe features on it, but like a cold shoe on your camera, you can actually slide this in, and then you can set up your camera on top of your, like your cell phone camera on top of your camera. And then it also has another shoe on the top uh, for your other items, which is very interesting how they're aligned that it kind of keep going to shoe everything on top of each other, right? But it's, it's a really nice kind of small uh, like camera stand. It's just like maybe like a little over two feet, maybe two and a half feet long um, for the actual stand, which is nice. I mean, like maybe maybe almost three feet, but like that's that's a really good like amount of distance, especially if you're just sitting this up on a table. 
you're kind of like engaging with it. That might be not that bad for your needs or depending on what you're using. It. I mean, it's just a really nice setup that you'll be able to use for your benefit. You can put that right face to face. Hi, with your phone. The tripod's head is made of an aluminum alloy material. It has a maximum load of about 11 pounds. Check out what happens when we put this five pound dumbbell on it. Well, hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Hopefully you guys like this one. Um, if you want to pick this up, I, you can put the link down below. Uh, otherwise, we will see you guys next time.